हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल प्रेस द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू टैप द बेल आइकन एट दिस टू द सब्सक्राइब बटन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम माई चैनल हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो एट बी कवरिंग द वॉट गवर्नर एंड इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो एट बी कवरिंग द पोर्टर गवर्नर एंड इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो एट कवर्ड the basics of the governor the introduction classification of governor and the centrifugal governor and the types of that is the terms used in governor so if you have not watched my previous video you can click on the top right corner i appearing on the screen right now now let's move on to what governor let's let's start so what governor is the basic and the simplest form of centrifugal governor it is a basic and the simplest form of the centrifugal governor and the sleeve we are considering it to be negligible mass that is the mass of the sleeve is considered to be negligible and the the various configurations of what governor can be that the pivot point this it can be on the spindle axis this red dotted axis this is the spindle axis so the pivot point it can be on the spindle axis or it can be at a certain distance from the pivot uh, from the spindle axis or the third configuration can be the pivot point it can be offset but the arms are crossed all right so these three can be configurations now we can apply the moment balance that is the force acting suppose t is the tension in the this link t is the tension in the link fc is the centrifugal force acting outwards on the ball and w is the weight of the ball that is m into g where m is the mass of the ball in kg and m into g this is weight t is the tension and fc is the centrifugal force now taking the moment about this point pivot point so what we get fc into this distance h i have already explained what is h what is uh, tension and what is radius in my previous video so fc taking moment balance about this point so fc into h that is the clockwise moment so we write plus plus fc into h plus fc into h this is clockwise so it will be written plus and this t force it passes through this point so moment will be zero and minus w into r this is anti clockwise moment with respect to point o so we will write minus W into R equal to zero, where W is the weight. So we can substitute the value of W as mg, and taking this minus sign on the that side. So FC into H, FC into H equal to mg into R, mg R. All right. Now FC centrifugal force is m omega square r. We all know m omega square r or m b square upon r. So m omega square r into h equal to m g r. So now r gets cancelled from both sides, and m also gets cancelled from both sides. So m and r you cancel m. And R. so what we are left is omega square h is equal to g, that is omega, that is the angular velocity omega square is equal to g upon h, where g is the 9.81 meter per second square, that is acceleration due to gravity, and h is the height of the governor. Omega is the angular velocity of the governor. From here we can get the value of h is equal to g upon omega square g upon omega square where omega is equal to 2 pi n upon 60 this is g g upon omega square we can substitute the value of g as 9.81 9.81 meter per second square upon omega that is 2 pi n upon 60 2 pi n is the angular that is the rotation in rpm upon 60 
so omega value we have substituted as 2 pi n upon 60 and its whole square so finally we get 9.81 upon 2 pi n upon 60 whole square now you can separate this value that is h will be equal to 9.81 into 60 square into 60 square upon 2 pi whole square that is 4 pi r square 4 pi 4 pi square into n square n square now you can calculate this value differently in calculator or mentally that is 9.81 into 60 square upon 4 pi square that is pi value is 3.14 or 22 upon 7 so when you calculate this value 9.81 into 60 square upon 4 pi square then we get h is equal to 895 this value comes out to be 895 upon n square so h value comes out to be 895 upon n square now what happens that uh, this we have used the units in SI so directly you will get the value of H in meters so if you put N value that is if you put N value in RPM directly so you will get the value of H in meters because we have taken all the units in meters in SI units that is meter per second square and uh, revolution per minute and so we will get the value of H in meters so directly you can use the value that is the formula h equal to 895 upon n square now let's see an example now you can see from the formula also that h is equal to 895 upon n square so h is direct inversely proportional to the square of the rpm so more will be the rpm so h will be less that means h is inversely proportional to n square so if the rpm is more so square of the rpm will be much more and it is inversely proportional so h will be very less so the watt governor it is suited only for very low rpm because then only we will get some appreciable rise in the sleep if the speed is very large above 80 or 100 rpm then we will get very low uh, rise in the sleep so we will not get measurable uh, measurable outputs so will be only used for the range of a speed from less than 90 rpm so for less than 90 rpm what the owner is suitable and it works perfectly now let's see an example calculate the vertical distance of a watt governor when it rotates at 60 rpm also find change in vertical height when a speed increases to 61 rpm so first n1 is given as 60 so you use this formula h1 equal to 895 upon n1 square that is 895 upon 60 square so you will directly get the value in meters so 0.248 meter now when the speed increases to 61 rpm again h2 is equal to 895 upon n2 square so h 895 upon 61 square equal to 0.24 meter now it is asking what find the change in vertical height that is the rise in the sleeve so h1 minus h2 so equal to 0.24 8 minus 0.24 equal to 0 0.008 meter equal to 8 mm this is the answer and this is the only this formula will be used h equal to 895 upon n square and sometimes in various examinations this derivation is also asked that how this is derived so i have explained the derivation also so i will be covering porter governor in the next video so i hope you have found this video helpful if you have found this video helpful please press the like button Please share my video on social media and please subscribe if you have already not subscribed and please follow me on Facebook, Goldfriends, Twitter etc. All, link, all the links are given in the description below and please check the description once for more of my social media links and other video links and playlist links and you can also watch the videos appearing on your screen right now. I would be seeing you in the next video. Till then take care.